So the Friday ride starts like this, but the 10R is feeling like a rocket ship today with these new tires and after the service it just feels a little more powerful than before. This guy came through a wrong way and almost crashed onto one of our guys. These are the real risks of running on a public street. No matter the bike you have, no matter the tech you have. So now the fun will start. are very risky just look at this this truck he came from the opposite side just look at this so these things these things happen very often So this is the last part.
so Rehan wants to go a little ahead but fun on the 10R and what fun these tires were but nevertheless I have to say I didn't expect this but the Z900 really 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 performed very well uh, the traction control the overall handling of the bike I think what I feel is this bike must have been at least a lot more lighter than the previous gen So we're just done with our uh, lunch or breakfast or snack, whatever you say and we're coming out of Excellencia and Rehan's riding the tenor now. So let me just change the angle a bit, yes this looks better because as this bike is not a super sport, so the riding posture on this bike is a bit different, I'll not be that lean forward. There's Rihan on the 10R. You tell me how he looks on the 10R. Let's see how Rihan does on the ZX 10R. He's actually pretty comfortable from what I can see. And we'll take his input as well. He seems to. He seems to be liking the tank grip a lot. And while Rihan's testing out the tires on that bike, I am having a beautiful plush time on this. The Z900 2021 or 2022. The latest gen. Yeah, the first complaint I would say that I have is from uh, the traction control system or the rear tire. But the good thing is the front is very confidence inspiring but you have to be very careful with the rear end of course plus without the presence of grips 10 grips
my front end doesn't go as well as Rehan's. I mean, because the tires are obviously a little old. But I can carry a higher gear than him. fun you can have on this bike I mean it does have a small twitches here and there but it's uncompared yeah the fun is so much more on a naked bike on these streets but yeah super sport has its own perks like it's got more stability more exit speed and all that but the basic fun on a Z9 I mean this gen is awesome it's, it's not as composed as a Triumph, but it's good. The tires, as I would say, has changed the complete handling of the bike. And uh, tell me, how does it? Uh, how do you feel? How does a 2016 ZX-10R get compared to a 2021 or a 2022 bike, which is a six years old bike? So let me know in the comment section below. Would you go for a 2016 bike or would you go for a 2022 bike? So whatever your thoughts are, comment down in the comment section below. And for today, I'm saying goodbye. This is Sushank Sharma saying goodbye from 88 Racing. See you in the next vlog.